Hey everyone, welcome to another episode. We're going to look at adding text to your footage really quickly. A bunch of ways you can do this. One of the easiest ways here, we're in the edit page at the bottom. And at the top here, you're going to see effects. And then you'll see under toolbox. If you don't see this, that means you're probably uh, short stack there. So just hit this down arrow. You'll see titles. And then all of this stuff will come up. Let's say we wanted to add it. They have all these kind of preset um, these presets here that you could use and then just kind of manipulate how you want them. Uh, let's say we want this one and we want it to pop up a few seconds into the drone shot. So we'll put it right about here. And then you'll see now it's there and there's your, and you can decide how long you want it there. And then let's say we want to say, you can pick your font here You can do mess with the size. You can mess if you want it bold. You'll see center line. See, they've already pre-made all the controls for you. So let's say we, we want that red. Down here is the sample, Los Angeles, and then let's say 2087, Terminator style. And there you go. So now when you go through, it will pop up in the middle of uh, in the middle of your shot, and it will be as long as you want it to be. We are rolling in that slider shot. So that's one way. Now let's say you want more control. Okay, let's say you want to decide how you want to do it. If you go to toolbox and then titles, you will see text plus. Now there is something similar called text. There you don't have as much flexibility. Text plus really allows you to do kind of whatever you want. So now that you see it, you'll see it's pretty simple, generic. But when you go up the top, let's say Los Angeles. Then down here, we'll choose our font. Let's choose some cool font here that we'll go bold we'll make it purple you know and here you can decide how much you want it to let's say here we want it to come up slowly we want to kind of animate it so it looks like it's being written on so we'll go to this first frame here we'll click we want it completely off so drag that right on all the way to zero Hit that then we want to go to the end of the clip then by here we want it to be all the way on so now when you play this shot, you'll see it writes it on the screen. You can establish the speed of it by where you put the right on, right off. So if you start it here at zero and then here you have it fully on, then it'll write on much quicker and then it'll be there for the rest of the shot. So we'll go, uh, you can rotate it, you can make it big. You know, a lot of this stuff is available, but what's cool about this is you can go into fusion. Now, if we go down to the bottom here and go into the fusion page, now you've got the text and there's so much more you can do. So you can go to layout, you can go to transform. So if you, depending how you want this to look, how you want it to come onto the screen, you can do shading, which I really like. So if you enable now there's, if you noticed right there, there was shading that just popped behind the lettering. So it looks almost 3D. You know, this is a whole nother, this is a whole nother bit that you can do now um, when it comes to shading and it comes to uh, how you want your text to look, how you want it to pop on screen. And now that we've done that little bit of work here, uh, you'll see when we hop back over to this page, now it's got that black shadow background outlining the letters. And then even in here, you can come back and make it as big as you want. And there you have it. So you've got, you know, this text plus really allows you to do a lot. Now, speaking of fusion, let's say we're on our clip here. Let's get rid of this text so we don't confuse ourselves. So let's hop into the Fusion page. Here you can also add text. So we've got our image, right? That's media in is our, our video here of the drone shot. Then media out is what it looks like at the end. So you're just basically gonna add text through this pass through here. So let's go ahead and right here at the top bar, you'll see text plus, and there it is, but nothing happened. So what we need to do is we need to hold Click on the text, highlight it, hold shift, and then just drag it. You'll see the blue and yellow, drag it, and then it will connect the text to your shot. So now, whatever we type in, now it's there. So let me clean this up a little bit. We've got the text in the shot just as you did before, and you can do so many different things with it. So we're gonna go to text. Let's make it red. Uh, we can adjust the size. And all the stuff that was available with text plus, this is basically text plus, it is text plus from the edit page just now in uh, Fusion. So you can do your shading. If we wanna go back and do that shading again, let's choose a different, uh, let's choose a different 
shading. So there we've got our black shadow back. You know, you can adjust what that looks like, how deep it is, the opacity of it. Uh, here we're going to get more into like a purple. So there you go. There it is. Okay, let's say we want to decide when it pops on and when it doesn't. So we will go to uh, whichever frame we want to pop on. So let's say we want this drone shot to play for a bit and then we want it on down here. You'll see what frame this is on. You'll see it changes as I move it. So let's say 1095. So up here, normally this is full length. So you'll see zero to the end. It goes you know, from zero all the way to the end and your clip is within that. So let's say we want it to pop on at 1095. We'll hit enter. And then let's say we want it to go off of the screen at 1000. 351. Boom. Now you'll see where it's green. That is now where the text is. When you play your clip, you will see it pops up where we told it to pop up. And then in a second, it will pop off. And there it goes. That's a really cool way also to add text. I feel like there's more flexibility in Fusion. There's always the you know added flexibility if you add the text in the edit page and then come over to Fusion. But now that we've added it in Fusion, we don't have any, any video tracks above. So it keeps everything a little cleaner too, makes this a little easier to manage just if you wanna add a quick title and just not have you know three, four, five layers of video clips or if you're gonna add VFX in your edit page for some reason, then it's just going to get a little crowded and confusing. So it tends to be easier just to add text in Fusion. You can do pretty much anything you want over here in the Fusion um, Text Plus. And then on the Merge node here where we've actually brought it into our image, there are options here as well. So you can adjust size. You can adjust how you want it. Like if you want it more of a screen so you can see through it, you know, you would do that with a lot of VFX. If you just want it normal, but those are gonna be your main ways of adding text, whether it be in Fusion or with some of these presets that DaVinci Resolve already gives you, messing with the settings over here to get it to pop up when you want and how you want. All right, guys, there you go.